Hi, my name is Emily and I'm an educator here at the Evergreen Cultural Center. Welcome to the Art Gallery at Evergreen Online. Today in this Family Days from Home video presented by Westminster Savings, we're going to be creating a tissue paper collage. So this tissue paper collage project is actually based on our outdoor exhibition here called Impossible Lands by Annie Briard. Annie Briard is a Vancouver-based artist who is interested in how we make sense of the world around us through what we see. In this series, she overlays images of the landscape taken by her father 45 years earlier with photographs she took while hiking along the west coast. Through this process, she shows us our surrounding environment in an unexpected way. I especially love the layering of vibrant colors and images on these photographs. We'll be using that as inspiration for our project. All right, now let's get making. Here are the collages that I've created. I'll be showing you two different ways to make your collage, one of which will actually look awesome on your windows. Now you're welcome to change it up to make it work for the materials you have at home. As I always say, be creative with what you already have. Firstly, you will need to choose your base for your collage. Here, I have mat board, a thicker and sturdier option. Next, I have cardstock. It's a thicker paper option that is easy to find in stores. Here, I have regular printer paper. It dries a bit bumpy, but it still just works as fine. And lastly, I have plastic from some packaging that I'm reusing to create a translucent version to place on my window. For the rest of the materials, you will need your chosen base, scissors, and some white glue, water, and a container, and also an old brush that you don't mind getting dirty. And then you will need all the tissue paper you can find. We're looking for anything that is slightly see-through because we will be layering them to make new colors. Don't forget about the fancy gift wrap that you can use. If you have some of this, usually they come in different textures or even like a gold color. So if you have it, try using it. It might add a pop of color that's really, really nice. Let's make a glue mixture. You will need one part water and one part white glue. Mix it really well. Mod Podge or Gel Medium are good alternatives too. Alright, to start off, I'm going to show you how to collage on your paper or board. Make sure to cover your table you're working on because it will get messy. First step is to cut out the shapes inspired by our outdoor landscapes. Take a walk or look outside your window to see the curves of the mountain or the lines in our skies. I'm planning out my collage by cutting and placing. So take your time during this step as you really can play around with where you want each piece. Don't worry about it looking perfect because this activity is about enjoying the process of making. After you are done cutting your pieces and planning, you will take your glue mixture and smother your board or paper and glue. Then place your pieces on top, making sure you paint another layer of glue every time you add new tissue paper shapes. For this next collage, I'm following the same process but building on a sheet of plastic. It's a bit hard to see in the video, but it's there and I'm not gluing on my floors. I recommend trying to mix different shapes together. In mine, I have rectangles that have straighter lines and corners and they're against very organic and round shapes. Explore and see what you can do with your shapes. One thing to also keep in mind is to cluster and layer all your pieces together. If you have a piece that is all alone, it will not be a part of the collage. 
You will understand more when you see the end product. And we're done! On the bottom right, I actually created another collage to show you how it looks on a regular sheet of paper. I hope you try this project. Thank you for watching! Thank you for taking part in the Art Gallery at Evergreen's Family Days from Home. Please take a minute to fill out the short survey in the link below. Your input will help us to continue to provide meaningful art experiences in creative new ways.